When business process management systems are operated, they produce heaps of useful log data. But how can we exploit them? How can we find the proverbial needle in a haystack? Fortunately, there is the XES standard that allows us to analyze logs with powerful process mining tools. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. Today I'll talk about YAWL as the ideal tool for creating realistic process logs in XES format. I have already covered this topic in previous videos. I'll put the links in the description below. What is new now in YAWL 4.5 is configurable logging. We can now directly insert role names into logs instead of role IDs. Let me show you how this works. Okay, in order to do this you need some prerequisites and I put links to previous videos in the description below. The first thing you have to do to use one of the new features of YAWL version 4.5 is that you have to edit the web XML file which in, is in the resource service web in folder and there is a parameter here called user IDs in XES logs and if you set that to true it will log the user IDs instead of these long IDs that are completely unreadable. So this is something you have to do first. Then you start the YAWL engine and load a workflow specification. You can take the same one that we've used here, but you can take any other one. And then um, you are in the YAWL control center here and you launch a case or you launch several cases. You go through them step by step until they're finished. And what you do then is you select the specification and you download the log here. And then you get this XES file. And I have already downloaded the XES file before. And when I put this into PROM, I import it. And then I go to the visualization here. And now I'm in the variant explorer. So you can see we have just one variant because there's also only one case. And in this case, I select a complete event. And when I look down at the details, I can actually see that the org resource here is LOM. So that was my user ID that I use. And I don't have this long, unreadable ID. So that's how it works if you want to do XES logs from YAWL. Do your own experiments if you want to go on from here. Have a look at tutorial 25. I'll put a link in the description below. See you then.